out to the stadium and there's thousands of people there. That's one of the things that I love. I like to hear all the different sounds. I like to take, take in the smells um, and just think this is what all that hard work was about. This is, you know, it's showtime. I just sort of focus out from the crowd, bring it to the track. There's me and seven other girls. What am I about to do? Eyes on the prize. I say my prayer on the line and then the gun goes and then I see you at the end. Often when the gun does go, it's almost a bit of panic and you're like, okay, this is it. <laughs> there is a plan we like to have, but anyone who knows athletics or life, <laughs> The plan doesn't always go to plan. The first 100 metres, really I'm just trying to stay quite aware of all the other girls and just thinking, can I get into my top two position, my top three position? We break at the 100 metres around the bend, usually on a good day. <laughs> I'm you know, feeling fine, feeling fresh. I'll look at the, take a glance at the clock as I go through the first lap. You know, thinking I'm on target, I'm on pace, and then right, the race is on now. And the second lap is, you know, all about just being strong, being determined, and gritting your teeth once you get to the last hundred and just sprinting for home. I actually get quite excited when someone is inquisitive and, you know, I don't know if they think I'm a bit strange or generally just intrigued by why am I talking about God all the time? Everything, you know, I hope she's just running. What's, what's that got to do with God? I can just invite them to church um, for them to see for themselves because I just believe that's the best, the best introduction to God there is. But when I started sort of thinking for myself and you know make and when I made that decision that you know this is the life that I, I choose for myself finding a good church where I felt at home and had people that essentially a second family was really really a major focus for me Karen my best friend who lives in Sheffield it's like I'd known her all my life you know and we've probably only really known each other in actual real terms for three years but and, and that's what it's like when you, you've got someone to do life with you've got a group of people every time I race they're rooting for you you know they're glued to the box and just having that extra prayer team as well I really enjoy you know church life and it's you know it's something I look forward to after athletics I'm away so much um, so I learn to make home wherever I go but it would just be nice to be rooted and grounded somewhere